If you are looking to improve your health, consider including flax seeds in your diet today. Flax seeds are loaded with heart healthy omega-3 fatty acids and dietary fiber, making it an excellent choice for maintaining a healthy heart and brain. Regular consumption of flaxseed can also help you with weight management and maintaining healthy hair, skin, bones and joints. But while flaxseed is known for all its numerous health benefits, there are also some things to keep in mind when it comes to consuming it. I am Shrikant Singh and welcome to our channel Happy Belly Fish. Today I am going to talk about the do's and don'ts with flaxseeds and also share with you a simple recipe with flaxseeds and sesame seeds that you can add in your everyday food. You can easily find flaxseed at your local grocery store and it's available in various forms including whole seeds, ground flaxseeds and flaxseed oil. So which one should you buy? Between the ground flaxseeds and whole flaxseeds, you are better off buying the whole flaxseeds and then grinding them as per your need. Grind them in quantities that you will use up in about a week's time and keep it in an airtight container away from direct sunlight and moisture, preferably in a refrigerator. Whole flax seeds will have a longer shelf life as the oils inside it are protected by the shells outside and they will not go rancid very fast. Avoid buying flax seeds that are salted and roasted. This way you will not consume them as a snack like you have your sunflower or pumpkin seeds and you will also not go overboard with the salt intake. These seeds are a great source of protein but they are also very rich in calories. So overeating them might actually cause weight gain. So you need to be careful here. And now talking very briefly about flaxseed oils, they have a very low smoking point. So they are not suitable for frying or cooking foods in them. But you can use them for dressing your salads or for your skincare or just as a digestive supplement. One common mistake that people make when consuming flaxseed is that they just take it whole. They just take a whole teaspoon of it and then uh, down it with a glass of water. That's a completely wrong way of eating it. Flax seeds are small and hard and that makes it very difficult for our bodies to digest it properly. The outer skin also contains phytic acid which acts as an anti-nutrient which means it will prevent the absorption of all the good minerals that the seeds contain. Raw seeds can pass through your digestive system undigested which is why you just don't take the seeds and down it with a glass of water. Both roasting and grinding it is necessary for you to absorb its most valuable compound, omega-3 fatty acid or alpha-linolenic acid. Now try pronouncing that. <laughs> but here are the four ways in which you can consume flax seeds. There are many others, but these are the simple ones. The fifth one will be a seasoning blend recipe. It is something that you're going to absolutely love. The first way is to soak a teaspoon of flax seed in water for a couple of hours. The seeds will be softer to chew and this is great for those people who take flax seeds just before bedtime for problems like constipation. If you do not have time to soak, then just boil a teaspoon of flax seed in a cup of boiling water and cook it for a further two minutes. The second and a very common way is to dry roast the seeds. These dry roasted seeds are easier to chew and they also become more flavorful. Once you have roasted the seeds, you can also grind them into a fine powder and use them in several ways. Whole flax seeds can also be a problem or it can be a challenging food for those people with dentures and other dental conditions. So this is where ground flax seeds are more helpful. These roasted flax seeds are a versatile ingredient and they can easily complement your diet. You can add it to your smoothies, yogurt, oatmeal and even use it as a substitute for eggs in your baking recipes. The third way is sprouting. Flax seeds can be sprouted and it can be added in small quantities to your everyday meal or to your salads. And the fourth way is everyone's favorite, weight loss. So if weight loss is your goal, then add a teaspoon of ground flax seeds to a cup of warm water along with some fresh lemon juice and have it once between your large meals. This will prevent you from binging on snacks and thus reduce your overall calorie intake. So how much flax seeds should one consume every day? Generally, one to two tablespoons of flax seeds are considered to be safe for everyone if one does not have known allergies and if they do not overdose on them. If flax seeds are taken in large doses, it may cause indigestion and the high fiber content may make constipation worse. So if you have any concerns about adding flax seeds to your diet, then it's always best to consult with your healthcare provider. And finally, the fifth way is where flax seeds can be used in any seed based seasoning blend. But before that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support is important for our channel to thrive. Now this is a seed based seasoning, very similar to za'atar. So to make this seasoning, we will need half a cup of unshelled white sesame seeds, half a cup of raw flax seeds, a quarter cup of sumac, one tablespoon of red chili flakes or two to three dry red chilies, a quarter cup of cumin seeds, a quarter cup of thyme and some salt to taste. 
When you choose sesame seeds for seasonings, use the unhulled seeds. The maximum calcium is in the hull and it is also a great source of fiber. To make this seasoning, we will first dry roast all the seeds. But we will not dry roast them all together because different seeds have different roasting times. I'll begin with the sesame seeds first. They take the least amount of time. When you roast sesame seeds, as soon as you hear the pop, you can lower the flame. And when the pop and the crackle becomes more intense, then remove it from the heat and keep it separate from the rest of the other ingredients. I will tell you later why I'm keeping it separate. But remember, during toasting, you're not browning these seeds. You're just roasting them until the aroma comes out. Once the sesame seeds are done, toast the cumin seeds. The moment you get this light aroma and again this pop and crackle becomes more intense, remove it from the heat. Now we will toast the flax seeds and it can take maybe one to two minutes for this to toast completely. The pop and the crackle is your best judge here. You cannot actually estimate the time, the temperature that you need to roast because you will have different pans. Your heating temperature might be different. So this is very important that you keep your eyes and your ears open when you're doing the roasting. When the flax seeds are also done, remove them from the heat and allow it to cool beside the cumin seeds. The reason we are allowing the seeds, the toasted seeds to cool is because when they are still warm and you grind them, they will form big lumps, which is why you need to allow them to cool. Most blenders are also made of plastic and even though they are food safe, it is not recommended to blend hot ingredients in them. And finally, I'm going to roast some chilies, but don't dry roast them else you will cough until eternity. So smear some oil on them or just put some oil on the pan and toast them lightly on low flame. Be careful not to burn them. It will begin to swell slightly and you will feel the light pungent aroma. So that is when you will stop. The chili you use and the amount of chili you want to use will depend on how spicy you want the seasoning to be. So anything from Aleppo chili to Kashmiri red chili or even Hungarian smoked paprika would work perfectly. And if you are using powdered chili, then it is perfectly fine. But remember, do not roast the powder. All the ingredients are toasted now. So take a blender and add these ingredients to it. Add some sumac and salt and blend it into a fine powder. Remember, I have not added the sesame seeds yet. When this mix has turned into a nice fine powder, then finally add some sesame seeds and give it one or two pulses. This way the sesame seeds will still be visible and it will also add some nice texture and some visual appeal to the seasoning mix. Taste it and see if you want to add some more salt, sumac or thyme. Store this seasoning blend in an airtight container away from sunlight and moisture. Remember, this is important and always use a dry spoon when you're using it. Since the seeds are ground, so you need to make this seasoning only in that much quantity that will last up to 10 days. Otherwise, the flax seeds and the sesame seeds, they will begin to oxidize. And since this blend is very similar to the spice blend satar, it can be used in the same way. You can add it to anything other than your ice cream. You can add them to your salads, hummus, toasted breads and cooked grains. Just try to taste this spice blend that you have just made and you will have so many ideas coming to your mind. You can steam your vegetables or stir fry them. You can roast your meat and steam your fish and then add this seasoning on top of it. And this will completely turn the taste of your food and it's a great way of having flax seeds and also sesame seeds. And in this way, you will also be able to have these seeds in limited quantities. You will not overdose on them and it will not look like you're on some kind of a medication. It will become a more enjoyable and a pleasant experience. If you notice, almost every ingredient in this blend is rich in antioxidants and it helps in better digestion and nutrient absorption. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I also hope that you will make this seasoning blend. Do remember to like and subscribe and share it with those people who might find it helpful and i will see you soon with another inspiring recipe very soon